Hi, Saviors, GH here. Today, we're gonna take a look at Mergen, Fletcher, and Ranger. This used to be one of the most popular and overused class build in the game. Yeah, way back 2017, 18? And now it's back. Is it? <laughs> we're gonna find out in this video. And with that said, let's do this. Okay, here it is guys, Mergen, Ranger, and Fletcher. And before we go show Mergen, Ranger, and Fletcher, let's show a key archer skill, and it's Leap. It's a skill that gives you the ability to step back. And this is an important skill, because while you're stepping back, you're immune to damage. It's your iframe skill. Now, let's start with Ranger first. Now, Ranger is a class that specializes on damage boosting buffs and also provides a decent kit that can be used to deal with both mobbing and single target. The reason this class is here is because it's a class that can boost the attack of the two other classes in this build with the use of its skills. Let's take a look at them. First off is Steady Aim. It's a buff that increases damage of two-handed bows and crossbows. Yup, just two-handed bows and crossbows. It no longer works with cannons and muskets. There's a new attribute for it called Renovate. When turned on, it removes the damage increase and instead increases your accuracy if you're using two-handed bows and increases your block penetration if you're using crossbows. Next vital skill here is Critical Shot. It's a single target attack that gives you a 30 second buff that increases your final damage or critical damage. When you have this buff, all your critical damage will have a 50% damage increase. You should max this skill out because the higher the level, the more critical damage increase you will have. Now those two skills right there, Steady Aim and Critical Shot, is the reason Ranger is here. But of course, Ranger also have a few attacks up his sleeves, namely Barrage. Now it's a single target attack that spreads splash damage behind the designated target. Yeah, they change it. In before, it's a fan shape attack. Now, it's a targeted attack that damages enemies behind the designated target. There's an art for this called Perfect Angle that increases final skill damage by 20% if only one target is hit. Next skill is Bound Shot, a skill that hits multiple targets and there's an art for this that gives it the ability to freeze targets and the fewer the enemy hits, the stronger the skill is. Another skill with an art is Spiral Arrow. It's an insta-cat 7-hit single target attack that ignores 10% of enemy's defense and gives a buff that increases the hit of Spiral Arrow by 1 for each stack. And you can stack 5 buffs. It says in the description that it does only 6 hits. And the reason it does 7 hits is because the first hit already considers that you have the buff even though you just used it. At the second application of Spiral Arrow stack, Spiral Arrow will of course do 8 hits. Okay, to be more understandable, let's do a slow-mo. Here is the first use of Spiral Arrow. And as you can see, Spiral Arrow does not land yet and you already have one stack of Spiral Arrow buff. Let's count the number of hits. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 7. So that's the first use of the skill. You will do 7 hits. And here's the second use of Spiral Arrow. Count if you want. <laughs> you get the point, right? For each stack of the Spiral Arrow buff, we get 1 additional hit. And since it can go up to a maximum of 5 stacks, at 5 stacks, we can get 11 hits from Spiral Arrow. It's a pretty good skill, so max it out. We're not done yet with Spiral Arrow, and there's an art for Spiral Arrow that turns it into a straight area attack that makes it hit multiple enemies. But, it gives Spiral Arrow a 1 second cast time. Could be good or bad depending on what kind of situation you're in. Then lastly, High Anchoring, an area attack that lowers enemy crit resist. And that's Ranger. They increased the damage buff of Steady Aim and made Critical Shot easier to use. So in summary, I think Ranger is now a very viable class to pick in the Archer Class 3. Now let's head on to Fletcher. Fletcher is a class that can use two-handed bows and crossbows. Previously, it uses arrowheads and now the cursed problem of not having an arrow in a raid dungeon is gone. 
because they remove the arrow requirements and you can use all the Fletcher skills without any item requirement. Okay, <laughs> anyway, the reason this class is here is because it has a variety of very usable attacks and a new attribute that further increases two-handed bows and crossbow attacks. Let's take a look at the skills and attributes. The new attribute first, and it's called Polish Arrowhead. Could be Polish. <laughs> anyway, what it does is every time you attack, you gain a buff that can stack, and that increases attack damage and crit rate. You get 2% increased damage and 5% increased crit rate per stack. And that stack can go up to a maximum of 10 stacks, so about 20% increased damage. Now the skills. First off is Barbed Arrow. It's a single target attack that can be used 5 times and deals 5 hits to cloth armor targets, 4 hits to leather, 2 to plate, and 1 to ghost. There's a Bibora weapon for this that increases the crit chance of the skill and adds more level to the abilities. And for additional info, most of the raid bosses we have right now is either cloth or leather. So for sure, you will have a use for barbed arrow. Next skill is Bodkin Point, a high skill factor single target attack that ignores enemy defense by 15%, max it out, it's a good skill. Then Broadhead, a skill that deals damage and inflict bleeding. And if you use it on an enemy that's already bleeding, the target will get a new debuff called Excessive Bleeding. Here is a slow-mo of a target already suffering from bleeding and we're gonna use Broadhead again. As you can see, the normal bleeding is around 40k damage and the Excessive Bleeding does around 180k. And that Excessive Bleeding lasts about 3 seconds and we get 6 hits of excessive bleeding. So make sure to always use Broadhead to take advantage of the excessive bleeding. Next skill is Magic Arrow. A small area attack deals damage to anyone stepping on the area of attack. And with the proper attribute, it can also silence enemies. And there's an art for this called Ember. And it changes Magic Arrow to fire directly at enemies. Then finally, Crossfire and Divine Magic Arrow. You only get level 1 of crossfire just to make enemies burn because divine magic arrow gets increased damage when targets are burning. Here is crossfire and divine magic arrow used together. As you can see, divine magic arrow is a channeled skill now which can take advantage of the goddess armor. Now there's an art for divine machine arrow that turns it into an instacast skill that hits 5 times instantly and followed with 5 explosions that spreads around the target. And that's Fletcher, definitely buffed now with its new damage increasing attributes. And now let's head on to the last class, Mergen. Now Mergen specializes on two-handed bows only, two-handed bows only, nothing else. Previously, it's always chosen because most of its abilities are geared towards fighting numerous enemies. But now, it gets better with the new attributes and reworked abilities. And the reason this class is here is because this is the main class of this build. This is where we started off in the build. Ranger and Fletcher were chosen to further increase the combat capabilities of Mergen. Now let's take a look at Mergen's skills and attributes. The new attribute is called Injury Rupture. And what it does is debuff the enemy when attacking with two-handed bows and that gives you a 20% damage increase and when the enemy has 2 stacks of injury rupture debuff, you will get a 40% minimum crit chance against that target and when a crit happens, the injury debuff is removed. Now skills, first is downfall. At base, the skill does 5 hits per second and it lasts 10.5 seconds on a single target enemy. Here it is. So after using the skill, it will do about 52 hits on the target enemy. So 52 times the skill factor. That's a pretty high damage. Now there's an art for this called Rapid Shot. And what it does is turn downfall into a channeling skill that does around 34 hits, area attack in front of your character. So it depends on your situation. Do you want AOE damage or more damage against a single target? And of course, you should also consider the Dahlia set if you have one. Next skill is Zenith. This is the ta -ta 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 skill. <laughs> it does area damage and now you can target a location with it. Unlike before that it attacks your surroundings, 
It's a pretty good skill in both mobbing and single target. Then what we have next is spread shot. It's a pretty straightforward skill. It's an area damage in front of you. Then lastly, arrow sprinkle. It's an area attack that deals multiple hits to targets inside the area of attack. And the bigger the target is, the more hits it will receive. And here is a Bibora weapon for this called Orbital Arrow, which will basically rain more arrow on the targeted area. Here is some dude using arrow sprinkle with Orbital Arrow. And yes, there's an art for this called Barrage and what it does is make all targets inside the area of effect deal equal damage. And that's Mergen. To be honest, I like the changes that it had. It gained a little more say when it comes to boss fighting and overall, it became more fun to use. And now let's do the good and the bad. Let's start with the bad. First is, as always, there's no reliable iframe in this build. Although there is Leap, which gives you a very short immunity frame, in my opinion, it's just not reliable. But it works with proper timing. Other than that, there's nothing much bad about this build. Now let's do the good stuff. In terms of single target and mobbing, it's great. It's just a question of gears. And looking at the end game content, it works well in challenge mode. Singularity, Remnants of Bernice is also very doable with this build and all content that involves boss fighting. All in all, I recommend that you try this build out or maybe try a variation of the build. Maybe Mergen Ranger Falconer, Mergen Ranger something else. <laughs> it's very viable now with the recent changes and addition to the build. And that's it guys, what do you think? Have you tried this build out already? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, share, and then subscribe to be part of the Gaming Hardcore family. And as always, this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.